this is the end of day one, Big Dig 2019. We've made good progress today. We've been focusing on trying to get as much muck shifted as we possibly can. So we've gone down and we've probably three quarters filled a skip out in the high street. Um, so what we're seeing now is us starting to go down through all the Victorian demolition layers. So come and have a look at what we've got so far. We've taken out the, the front section of the D shaped salt on as we knew it and we've moved into the, the half that we didn't excavate last year. So we've started to uncover what we think is probably some internal feature here. There may be an opening, there's certainly some brick infill on an earlier wall down here that we can see. So this area, this little bit of the trench here is showing lots of potential for telling us a bit more about this pan structure and I'm contemplating tomorrow possibly going down on the other side to see if there's any kind of opening visible there, perhaps an ash door or something like that. Um, at the, the front of the pan, we've just been taking down, we've just taken out the first layer of demolition rubble, the, the 20th century demolition rubble, which is mostly 19th century buildings, so lots of pan tile, brick. Coming in towards the area we excavated last year, we've started finding a feature that we found last year, which was a spine wall, a party wall that runs down the middle of the structure, or just about in the middle. So if we come down and have a look at it, it's got some very nice painted plasterwork that's beginning to deteriorate. We've recorded it, photographed it just as it came out. But you see those nice greens and blues appearing on the plaster face of that wall. And hopefully we'll find the other side of that wall tomorrow and maybe I'll we'll have some plaster on it as well. We've also unexpectedly found two partition walls inside where we didn't expect. So we've got here the inner face of the probably 17th century wall. We've got a brick partition there and a brick partition there with some very small cells in between. So lots more potential tomorrow. What we're looking at here is the corner of the section that we dug out last year. So that's the polythene bags filled with rubble. We'll take that down tomorrow as well. And we've got some small finds. We've got some not so small finds. We found one chimney can last year. We've found another one now. Lots of architectural stuff. I think from the, uh, the 19th century, there's a, there's a Rhone spike and there's a downpipe spike that would have held cast iron downpipe on the wall. We've got, um, aha, the booby object. Mm, we'll reserve judgment on exactly what we've got there. That's an unusual find in what we've got so far, because most of what we've got very clearly 19th, 20th century. Somebody's bathroom glass. Interesting little section of clay pipe there. Very diagnostic, again, out of the top fill. Nice rubber stopper, lots of rubber stoppers around Kikenzi. Find them all over the place. This one just happens to be Hendry's, um, who also made the Jacobite bottle that we found further up the wagon way last year. We've got another little piece of Tachakas China. Very nice, Tachakas was just around the corner from here. Well-known local ice cream parlor. And just because we are a railway museum, effectively, we found this little button with what we are pretty certain says NBR for the North British Railway and Hugh Francis Caddle, I'm reliably informed, was one of the founding directors of the railway. Well, we reckon it's unlikely that that was a button off his uniform. So lots of other general finds, um, bits of glass, pottery, lots of 20th, late 19th century stuff. Lots of potential of that. So tomorrow we'll start going down seriously. So if we get as many people down here tomorrow as we can, we'll start shifting up and getting down into the earlier layers.